Math Model Second Semester 2011 ACP Review Objective 4 Analyze Savings Options Involving Simple Interest. This lesson employs the formula to calculate future value of money shown here. This two letter variable FV stands for future value, P is the present or starting value of money, times the quantity 1 plus R over N, and R is the rate. If this rate is a percentage, it needs to be converted to decimal form by dividing by 100. And this variable t is for the number of time periods. In common use today for money, this number would be in years. And finally, this variable n is for the number of compounding periods in each time unit. For instance, monthly would be 12 for 12 times a year. Whatever number it is, the same number goes in both locations. We'll take a look at this problem. When Sarah is born, her uncle makes an investment of $10,000 to help pay for her college costs. If the principal grows at a rate of 6.5% per year, simple interest, what will be the value of the investment 18 years later when she is ready to start college? We can take this amount, $10,000, and put it here for the principal. Here is where the 6.5% goes for rate. And here is where the 18 years go for T in the formula. N in the formula for annual simple interest is 1. And here's where those numbers are entered in the calculator. Note how the 6.5% is divided by 100 to make it work. Press Enter. We get $31,067, which we find amongst our answer choices here. And we circle our correct answer, C. Next problem. If Sam starts an investment account with $800, after how many years will that amount be at least $1,100 if the account grows at a rate of 5% per year. For this problem, if we just plug in what we know first, $800 for the principal, 5% goes in for R, actually 5% divided by 100, and finally we try out the answers here in A, B, C, and D to see which one gets us to at least $1,100. Here it is with everything entered except for the variable T, Here's the formula entered in the calculator with 9 for T from answer A. Press enter. This number about $1,241 definitely is at least $1,100, but maybe it's not our best answer. We need to go on to be sure. Next we try out 7 years in the formula. Press enter. This time we get about $1,126, which is also over $1,100 and is a better answer than 9 years, so we can cross off answer A. Just to be sure, we try out 5 years, we get about $1,021. It's not enough, so we cross off answer C. And we circle our best answer, our correct answer, B. Next problem, you invest $85,000 in a fund that lends money to home buyers. If that investment pays 5% interest, how much interest income will you earn after one year? For this problem, we can figure out the amount of the interest by taking the value after one year of investment and subtracting out the principal or starting amount. So we can plug all the values into the formula. Note how 4.5% is 0 .045 and the number of years is 1. Press Enter. We get $88,825. Now we subtract out the $85,000 principal or starting investment. Press Enter. We get $3,825, and this is where we find $3,825. So we circle our correct answer, B. Next problem, for an investment of $100,000 to grow to $1 million in 30 years, what annual rate of return is needed? For this problem, we can use our formula. Here are the values we can enter into the formula. We plug in $100,000 for principal and 30 for T. We're using, again, 1 for N. Now we can try each percentage rate until we get $1 million. What we're going to do here is go to the Future Value Program. Here it is with my programs in my calculator. We did this in my Math Models class, and YouTube viewers can find the video by typing in Future Value Program. It should be at or near the top of the list of videos on the subject. Press enter. Press enter again. Here it is with everything entered from the problem and 5 is entered for the percentage from answer A. Press enter. We get about $432,000. It's not enough, so
so we cross off answer A. Now we try the same thing but with 7% for answer B. Press enter. We get about $761,000. It's closer but still not enough so we cross off answer B as well. Now we try 8% for answer C. Press enter. This time we do get to $1 million with over $6,000 to spare. So we circle our correct answer, C. I hope that while you can see how helpful the program is, you understand that we could have done this one fairly easily without the program as well. This has been Math Model Second Semester 2011 ACP Review Objective 4, Analyze Savings Options Involving Simple Interest.